Um, I'm a liver surgeon uh, doing uh, hepatofungal biliary surgery as, as well as, as, well as uh, transplant. And I started the uh, lap liver resection in 1995. So I really enjoyed the last discussion. Um, I'm going to talk about the gas embolism. And I, we do uh, laparoscopy-assisted major hepatectomy. So I really agreed with uh, the guy from uh, Northwestern University told about uh, how we start a laparoscopy-assisted way because uh, I'm a liver surgeon. So it's easier to perform laparoscopy-assisted way. Anyway, when we look at the uh, PubMed, we found a couple of papers about uh, laparoscopic uh, gas embolism. So this paper was published in year uh, 1994 from Italy. They did uh, four cases of a minor resection, but uh, unfortunately, one case had a gas embolism, intraoperative cardiac arrest, but the patient recovered nicely. They used the uh, algon beam coagulator. The other paper from uh, Seoul, uh, from Seoul, Korea, and they also measured a TEE and found a lot of uh, uh, gas bubbling inside a atrium, and right atrium and right, ve uh, right ventricle. And patient developed uh, ALDS on only the right side, but the patient recovered. Anyway, uh, they use algon beam coagulator. So this is a um, Japanese case uh, we collected uh, from uh, Japanese study group of laparoscopic liver resection. Uh, thank you for Professor Shimada. He just gave me the first case, lap hepatectomy, at Kyushu University. As you can see here, um, hemodynamic was became all of a sudden um, unstable, and saturation became goes, go, went down to 80. So they thought this was uh, the gas embolism. Uh, another case Professor Shimada gave to me is uh, happened at uh, Tokushima University. It is a recent case. The patient is a cirrhotic liver with hepatocellular carcinoma. They use a microwave coagulation um, before the resection. The, the needle, this, um, the bleeding came, coming from needle from here, then they use algon beam coagulator. Probably this needle injured the hepatic vein, then algon beam goes into the hepatic vein, and the patient developed a severe hypotension and almost a close, nearly to cardiac arrest. Pneumo pressure was eight millimeter Hg, and alarm system working. An important thing is the trochal bulb was open when they use ABC, but still it happened. This is a hemodynamic uh, chart of this patient. <laughs>